It's like further oh my out, god! It's further in. <laughs> Help me! <laughs> we are making the patterns! <laughs> Hi, you got me here! We're in the space station. I'm, I'm me. We're. Uh, oh, I got a banner. A, a banner cape thing. Optifine. Right. Today, um, hasn't been very long since the last day. Uh, the last time we made a video like this. However, we have done some stuff. We went to the end and we defeated the Ender Dragon, and then we had a UHC. All of these things, which I did not record, did not get on on camera because. I just I just didn't want to. Look, we have a singular space carrot, which I grow here. Every now and then I harvest it. We have magical water. Um, anyways, so immediately after killing the end dragon, which we did in quite a conventional way until the killing blow, but I'll get to that in a bit. Um, so after the end of dragon, we then made the end farm, which, you know, is not quite as good as the gold farm, uh, the pigman XP farm down there. But it's pretty damn awesome, and uh, it, it gets the job done, certainly. It does involve TNT, I haven't brought any with me today, but ah uh, well. So, I'm going to scoot over there, which is uh, all the way this way, so I'll be back when I get there. Okay, here we are. Let's just scoot through. I uh, keep hitting my head. Here we are. This, um, so our host, Biffa, makes YouTube videos. He's a cool guy, doesn't afraid of anything. Uh, giant rainbow. He is part of a collection of people called Hermitcraft, who make videos on a server together, and this was his base on their first season. Um, Leah, on our server, recreated it in survival in its entirety, including the surrounding sea. This entire place was a forest bi biomes before. The forest biome before. Um, and yeah, we created it, showed him on video, he kind of freaked out, it's pretty funny. Let's go in the end. It's a place, look, it's a thing. Let's, let's go up here before we take my minecart, um, my minecart rail out there. Um, yeah, we defeated the dragon. This is Voidford's amazing sculpture to recreate the event. There's a big guy, very big, I don't know, he's, he's like a giant or something. Or maybe the dragon's just a baby one. And he's stepping on the dragon, which isn't particularly for anything to do, and stabbing it in... I guess that would be the chest, yeah, or the belly. I thought it was the back before, but I guess that's like a little leg, isn't it? Right, and down here we've got a bed. He didn't originally plan to build that, but um, had to after we did the fight. Because what happened was... Dragon got down to about no health whatsoever. What's that? just like a, like a snow block or something. Drain got down to nearly no health. Right about here, I pull it up on a piece of endstone, got to about that high, and I uh, put a bed on the top. Now, beds don't let you sleep in the nether and uh, the end. So when I right clicked the bed as the dragon came close, it took a few attempts, but finally it exploded, dragon exploded, I exploded, everyone exploded, um, and yeah, we won. And the dragon exploded, people got XP, and I got this portal. And now we have access to the end, which means we have access to Enderman, and that means lots of Ender Pearls. Hello, good sir, how are you doing now? Hi! Alright, oh yeah, they're holding barrier blocks, that's the thing. So we've got loads of Ender Pearls now, which is great. Oh, before we go, I need to take all this stuff off. Right, let's get rid of all the stuff I love, because this could be a one-way trip for all I know. I made a little thingy do out here, it's, it's pretty simple, the redstone for it's pretty simple. And you get in, does this, and then it turns on and you go! So, um, yeah, here it is. I like how Amiga did a little design on the spawn platform up there, otherwise it would look kind of, kind of meh. Okay. I'm back, and uh, let's just crawl out of here. Same set up over here. And, um, ooh, I'm sorry guys. They're, they're looking at me, they're like, KILL ME! So, um, this is a place where you put TNT. Right, like the TNT with the flint and steel from over, from over here. 
or with like a flame bow or something, which I don't currently have on me. And um, you'll explode, they give you tons of XP, dumb. Yep, it's, that's it. We have some enchanting tables, or enchanting table. We can have a second one over there, and uh, it's just, you know, you know the deal, it's one of these setups. And it's, it's really, really quite nice, and it's not as crazy loud and scary with all the pistons as other designs are, because up there, above that hole, we have a little minecart sitting on a block. And in that minecart is an endermite. Endermen don't take particularly kindly to those things. They run toward it, they jump down, or they fall down because they're a little bit, you know, not the smartest, and um, they end up there in a big cluster of endermen. Alright, I think that's all there is to show. Um, let me get back in my minecart and I'll um, see when I get back. There we go. Ooh. Okay. So I just came up here on a whim to check out, you know, sort of an aerial view, but also just because I was running around and just jumping about really as you do. And uh, I was like, what is this? I'm like, oh yeah, it's the teacup. What is that? I, I don't understand. What is this aiming to achieve? What is... Okay, so I just had a friendly chat with my comrades. Why is it raining? And um, this cactus is just here to prevent spawns, just to make sure that stuff doesn't spawn up here. Because uh, they decided cactus would be better instead of using torches and stuff like that to light this place up, which I can understand. Now, um, I have a little bit more information on this. It was King Tanner that built this, not uh, Dom. And yeah, these wool here. This wall, I guess it's like ice cubes? No, sorry, not ice cubes, sugar cubes. This isn't iced tea, this is regular tea. Um, and because there's, there's a couple around here. Now, Biffer, if you're watching, uh, there is a surprise in here for you, which um, is why it was positioned here. And it, it's kind of a temporary thing, so you can take it down, but there is a surprise inside. Just saying. This is about halfway done now. <laughs> Alright, so I'm back. Um, again, some things have happened since uh, I last whacked on the record button. And I've made the express decision to build a new base. So currently, we've just got the space station, and the rest of the time, I'm kind of a bit of a nomad. I'm just sort of hanging around other people's bases. I do kind of use Amiga Space as sort of a home away from home when it comes to sort of place to chill sometimes. But um, yeah, this is the community stronghold portal. So there was the, there's the Biffer one down there, and this one goes to the community stronghold, which still looks vaguely like a stronghold. Um, but yeah, this is the location for any base. And oh, I've already got a lot of the building done already. Um, I've designed everything in single player. I'm still tweaking it a little bit. But, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah! I fought with her! It took like five seconds, so it wasn't really that interesting. But, um, yeah, we've got a beacon just for haste, too, which is really nice. You don't have to rely on anyone else for beacons now. Let me get Okay. Alright. So, yeah, let's go down there and take a look at what's done so far. Yeah, it's pretty big. <laughs> I've done a lot of work. I'm not completely obliged to, you know, to, to show it all on camera, show you know, every step of the planning process and doing stuff in single player and figuring out redstone. But, um, yeah. And what I love doing is I made this this texture pack here called We Can Always Pretend. I've been playing a lot of modded Minecraft recently, so I figured I need a big Emmy controller. So I, I made one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's all I can really say. Um... Oh yeah, forgive my whole sort of dual accent thing, I'm trying to work that out. I have American friends, I'm, I'm from England, so it kind of jumps in and out of between the two. It's, it's so weird, but oh well, I, I just, yeah, that's how it goes. Anyway, yeah, uh, ME controller it's from Applied Energistics 2, it's a mod, and I just like the look of it. It's just a pretty centerpiece to have, and not actually functional in vanilla, but, you know, it, it's fun. But, this, um, 
virtually the function of that will be in this base. I'm going to have a huge sorting system uh, with auto smelting. And this is going to be a really cool enchanting room, which I'm, I'm sure you'll love. Uh, but yeah, that, that's going to be really nice to have as a project. Hey, chicken. Can I make another chicken next to this chicken? Apparently I can't because the egg does... Oh, oh it's there. All right. Ow. All right. No, 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 we're not. Okay, and here is a bunch of redstone. So, what else is redstone for? Well, I uh, whatever it's for, I haven't actually built that yet. Um, but effectively, what will happen is this glass ex will extend all the way down to the beacons. There'll be five of them down there eventually. And this central column with all the glass here will be an item elevator. Just using, you know, using the elevating technique where it goes up through blocks by, you know, putting it in past defense post and whatever. And up there, one of these four lines of hoppers coming out between the quartz slabs will support the um, the line coming from the item elevator. And then, uh, which one is it? Again, I fall. This is a really bad place <laughs> to record in. But yeah, one of them, um, it'll go into a dropper that'll come down and it'll go into the item sorting system or, or the smelter, depending on where it needs to go. So, yes. And all this um, redstone supports some pretty simple stuff. Yeah, some of it I have got built. That's not correct. This one is correct. So, I have four of these. They're just uh, switches for crafting tables. Everyone's seen these things. Everyone knows what they do. Um, I do believe there is no more compact way of doing this. And because I want the button right next to the block, I've had to do some screwy stuff with slabs down there. But, where, You know? where. So, yeah, it's nice to have those there so I don't have to go up to um, the one inside the fake ME controller all the time. Hmm, yes. So the rest of the redstone currently is to support these dispensers, which will be dispensing water. Now they'll also, uh, on the same circuit, will also be um, pistons in the sides here. The pistons will retract this block, so this block will come you know, out one block here, and there'll be a hole here. And uh, the water dispensers, the water will just come along in a line down to this corner, and so will that one. And, uh, I mean, the water will just flow down, but there's no problem with that. And you can just chuck items here, or the chests will be along the side here, by the way, so like here and here. But you just chuck items into the water stream, it'll go down there, and that will be where it gets brought into the sorting system. Or at least up into the elevator first. So yeah, it's a really cool design, which all fits in with itself, and I I've been trying to get the redstone to be as pretty and compact and sort of understandable as possible, and that's taken a few iterations. Before it was a complete mess. Oh man, I don't even think about it, but um, yes. Also, there'll be glass here. This floor will extend all the way out to yeah, out to about here. Um, I just need to go get more glass, and basically all the rest of the materials I have here is working fine. Only one issue. Um, this account is my Hiyu account, which is my second account. I use it for recording time lapses, like the um, like the ISS one that I did, and. This was in game mode 3, spectator mode before. <coughs> Excuse me. Problem with that, um, this has a cooler name. Hayu is a cooler name. Hayugami, kind of long form, you know, old username, not really not really my thing. So I had them switched around. This one's now in game mode 1, uh, 0, sorry, game mode 0 for survival. Other one is in game mode 3 now. The Hayugami account is now in spectator, permanently. Except it shouldn't be, because I forgot to put everything in my ender chest in another chest. It's still in my ender chest on the other account. I can't access it. So when I whack this guy down, it's empty. All of the diamonds, and the gold, and the redstone, and the coal, and the obsidian, and I'm waving my arms around in real life. Let's look at me go. It's all gone. So I need, I need to get, get back talking to an admin about that. Um, yeah kind of my fault though. Um, I should have remembered that. I, I had planned to do that. I, I planned to do all of the things that, it was, that were necessary, but it sort of skipped my... It sort of skipped my mind. So, uh, so yeah, whoops. Uh, I just realized that this is going to be in, in 30 FPS because I haven't changed settings from UHC. Yes, we had a UHC! We had an awesome UHC! Videos are currently coming out. Uh, I think they'll probably all be out by the time I, I release this, because it tends to take me a while to record a video, but, yeah, I don't care, it's okay. And, uh, yeah, it was a huge war between um, our patron server 
and False Symmetry's patron server. And False Symmetry is another hermit crafter, for those of you who don't know, and she plays on the same server as Biffa, who is our server host. And yeah, it was huge. It was 20v20, it was a UHC with two teams only. It was war. It was war. And we had a really awesome strategy going, so yeah, we had like different task forces and they did different stuff where, um, where, where they would like, one would go to the nether, one would mine, one would get food, and um, I was part of the nether one. I won't go into too much detail, but we barely ended up winning to this one guy on the other team who was really good. Um, yeah, and the videos are current currently out on all their channels. I think False may have re released episodes of that. I'm not sure. I know she sc she streamed it anyway. But um, yeah, ev everyone who's involved who has a YouTube channel, pretty much, except me, um, has recorded and released episodes of that. So yeah, that's cool. Long rant over, long long talk over. Um, back to whatever the next clip is. I have no idea what it's going to be. Probably just more of, of this once more is done. Hello, so uh, we're going to be doing a little bit of a tour around town, and I think it, I think it's town, with um, my buddy Eno, and also my friend King Tanner, and uh, we're going to show uh, show you all a bunch of stuff, as I said last time, <coughs> excuse me, right now I'm just gathering a bunch of quartz, um, I've been breaking down and regathering tons of the stuff right now because I need more for my base, I had tons before, like, I had so much, and yeah, uh, I've used it all, because I was very sort of ambitious with my quartz usage when I was designing it in creative. Obvious reasons though, because I had tons of it, so why not? I mean, why not? Anyway, I'm going to keep getting this stuff, so uh, I'll be back with the tour. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy. Is that what enchanting does? It makes your, your, your armor reflective? Yes. Wow, that's perfect for PvP. <laughs> they won't see you coming. Uh, uh, the, uh... I'm under attack. Oh wait, that's me. <laughs> you, you, you just you just sort of like look in look look in the distance, and then there's this bright spot of light just like shining straight into your eyes, reflecting the sun. <laughs> <clears throat> that couldn't be anything in particular. Is that a person? Like, like you're just know. you're just walking along in UHC and you, you see the wall and on the wall suddenly like like light just dances all over the wall <laughs> and you look behind you and like like 200 meters away there's a guy standing in diamond and tiled armor and you're like is that Jesus? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. So uh, I asked these two to come along and uh, show us a little bit of a tour. Well, I've seen the around, but you guys haven't. So. Yeah. And Hayu is wearing camo and jumping into bushes. Where did he go? I can't... Where did he, he go? He's behind me, in the bush. Behind you in the bush? Oh, he's right I... over here. He's wearing camo. <laughs> I can't make him out. I swear, like, I can't find him, but then I look at his eyes, and I'm like, oh. It's because you've got these great big giant eyes. You you can't see <laughs> too good with those, uh, yeah, words. You can't see too good with those, uh, yeah, Enofon 2015. Yes! This is the, uh, iron farm. Um, who was it built by? I don't know. It's been this built, built so by Uncle many Matt, times. Uh, originally. And, well, the thing up in the sky was built by Uncle Matt. And it's been fixed by him a few times, and then it broke again, and then Leah fixed it. Well, I thought Rash actually tore it down, or not tore it down, but Oh, Fixed maybe he did that times. as well. I imagine he did because he's kind of the kind of the farmer's guy, isn't he? Yeah, and then Rash had been working on the towers, which were over here, but they're oh, gone they now. Were. Yeah, and they're gone. Oh man, this iron farm it just isn't working good. Hmm? What? It, it just it just it, there's not there's just this is not working good at all. Yeah, there's only there's, like uh, one, there's two, just three, four, too much. Five, six, seven. There's only like you know. There's there's only one full. double chest full of. Full of, full of Oh, Ooh, here's a here's a boat. I'm getting on the boat. Ooh, a boat. I'm on a I'm boat. I'm on a boat. Everybody. We we did that at the same exact time. <laughs> I'm on a boat and yeah. I'm going fast and so this is Snow Crash's castle over here. That's kind of cool. Yes, Snow Crash. He's a guy. He makes things on YouTube. Um, 
lots of farms with yeah. his design. So like the Pigman farm that we have is uh, an adaptation of his design, which is an adaptation of some other people's designs put into one or something like that. And he made a big ass of a theory. Oh. Someone's trying to open my apartment door. Ooh. Turning so slowly in this mode. Turning so slowly. I I'm starting. <laughs> I'm starting to lose the belief that you're sober. We were just looking at F5. Okay. <laughs> so shall we head towards uh, East Biffington? Uh, let's do it. Here we go. Uh, oh, one of the cool. coolest houses on the server is actually down this way. Uh, you guys Which won't believe the amount of work that's gone into it. This is Moogle's Moogle, y'all. Then just walk past it. No, what, what, we showed it. It's you showed it? Yeah. Okay. I, I just did. Ow. Moogle is one of the sweetest, most kind-hearted people on the server. Mm. Oh, it really true. But this is uh, Top Hat 113's house. Oh, yeah. Put this, in. It's, it's amazing. <laughs> it's a door! It is the most Yay! epic house oh, he has a saddle. in Minecraft I need ever. That, I need that saddle oh, to ride God. a pig to his doom. <laughs> I think there might be some saddles at the the thrift store or whatever it's called. I don't think you guys understand Pestilence. how cool he is. He doesn't use coal, he uses stairs. <laughs> So, um, and Rash actually did most of the road work around here, I think. But, uh, mm. we've got kind of an ongoing joke with him since he's Canadian, uh, about moose. <laughs> 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 so, somebody put antlers on his house. <laughs> oh my god, that's amazing. Yeah, this, this fellow here is... I don't know how uh, that made sense, but... This is my police station, uh, built on, uh, Ben's land with his permission. And, uh, Void did, like, a police car as well. And, uh, I'm still waiting. I'm still waiting for that biffer. There's meant to be three in this chest on the left, and you took one of them. You took one of them, and you haven't given it back. And you, like, keep it oh, on you as well. Biffa he keeps it on the him. Helmet. What's over there? It's Leah's recording studio. Oh, nah. Well, no, no one's Ooh. allowed to know about the recording studio. Wait, it was in I, her video. Oh, she already, did, oh, she already did it in a video? Okay, let's go down. Yeah. Whoa, seizure time. Wee. Come on, grab your friends. Ooh. Um, yeah. Great recording Ooh. studio. Why? Are, I think, why are the walls? Why are the walls this? It's a great recording studio, but you really need to change the walls, mate. <laughs> Hello and welcome to uh, the Biffercraft uh, talk show. No, no. <laughs> ah. What? What? Wait. What happened? Give, give, give me my, give me my shovel back, man. I'm I, I'm 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 confused. Thank you. A bush. He's a bush. I am a bush. <laughs> Where is he? Uh, look into his eyes. No, you can see no, the whites no. of his eyes. Look into my eyes. Look for the whites of his eyes. Oh wow, you've got some big whites. Holy, <laughs> holy crap! And that's the last one. So. The chest room's complete with chests. Oh, the chests part is the complete part I am referring to. Yes. Look! It, yes! Okay. That was a lot of wood. And not as much as I thought it would be, at least. So. We have the flippy things. We have the water streams. Which, um, would work if I didn't block them off with anvils. I think I mentioned what this all does. I'm pretty sure I did. But yeah, so this is all finished. Water streams will carry stuff up there. All the chests are ready, and uh, I have one quadrant-ish thing, well, one part of it complete, so the items haven't gone in here to be sorted. Oh, there's the eggs and stuff. What? Okie doke. But uh, anyways, uh, yeah, this tech room is complete, and um, down here we have the auto smelting station, so uh, I was going to opt for a minecartless uh, design for this, but because I'm going to be smelting a variety of ores at the same time, it didn't really... Excuse me, it didn't really make sense to have one which relied on timings from hoppers filling up and the last hopper activates a comparator and you get the gist. And that tech room looks really nice. I like doing up the little tech rooms back there so when I go back to work on them I can actually see what I'm doing. Makes it all really clear and nice to see. So um, I've moved all the stuff from my little nerd pole chest area up there down here. And I just need to get some minecarts now. I need to craft another one actually. Uh, 
crafting bench. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I need to, I need to remember that I have these things. <laughs> okay, they're staying over there. So what's something smeltable that I have in my health bar? Uh, I guess spruce wood is smeltable. Let's see. So if I put a regular wood in this chest, like that, and I put one spruce wood in this chest, Those will go. Oh, I, I blocked it. That's okay. Um, I can hopefully intersect this. Oh, it already dropped it. Alright, so... Yeah, you heard it click. That means it dropped the item. Uh, it's going to drop into like a water stream down in the main collection area, down below the base. So let's go down there now and see if it dropped a piece of charcoal. Right down here. Hey, it's a piece of charcoal! Perfect. Okay, so that works, and uh, next stage we need to get the whole this whole area here cleaned up and make it look all nice and fancy with grass, which I, I can do pretty easily. I've got tons of glass, grass in reserve, and um, I need to get more beacons as well, but that's going to take a long time, so uh, that's, that's, a, that's a long term thing, get all the beacons in. Jump boost is a necessity, actually. I guess I can just switch it over to Jump Boost after I finish digging. But uh, yep, this is all going to go to gr Grass next. <sighs> Excuse me. And um, and yeah, that, that's the thing. Looks like that's enough for this video for today. I've got to go edit it all, so um, I've got to finish the ceiling. I've got to go edit that all, so it looks like we're going to edit it here. Thank you very much for watching. I, I don't know why you did. Um, Suddenly struck me that because my mouth isn't moving, this seems really odd. Maybe it's just really late at night, so... Um, I'll see you next time. There will be a next time, I'm pretty sure. Um, people record quite frequently on this server, so I think um, I'd like to record frequently too. Maybe do some stuff with them. There is a little bit of PvP that'll be going on because someone has made an arena for us. And uh, we'll be able to get some of that action going. Maybe next time, maybe a couple times after. I don't know, it's pretty... It's pretty random when they choose to do it, but, you know, it's all part of the fun. There is going to be glass up there, don't worry, it's not going to rain on our parade this whole time. Uh, right. I'm going to end the episode. How you at?